Hi, I have already started my hair and decided that I wanted to show you how to do an invisible part weave with the invisible hairline, whatever you want to call it. Um, what I used today was Maxi Weaving Glue, Morning Glory Grow Protect. This is the clear one. Um, I don't recommend you get the clear one, get the brown one because as you can see, it dries white like a crust or something. So I don't like it. And it got into my part a little bit, so I'm going to have to wipe it with some warm water. The hair that I'm using is Bio X Human Hair. Um, it honestly does not feel like human hair. Um, it doesn't look like human hair, apparently. And 14 inches, and the price is $13.99. Color 1B, and I use um, F1B33 as well. That's where you see the brown at. That's really nice. Um... Okay, so stay tuned, I'm tell you everything that's done. Okay, so right now I'm on my fourth pack of hair. Yes, four packs of hair. The tracks are like really thin and it doesn't come with a lot. So let's hopefully this all fills out the rest of my hair. Because I like to lay my tracks really close together. Um, I measured it already. I want to make sure that I measured it right. Okay, we got So, now I'm about to apply the glue to the track. So you want to apply the glue to the inside part where the double tracks is. You know how on the outside it don't show like two tracks. You do it to the inside. And it's okay to apply the glue to your hair if you have that grow protect on it. If you don't care about your hair and you just want to gel it down and glue it on you, you do you. But I care about my hair and I don't want it to fall out. So I protect my hair by any means necessary. So there we go. I put too much glue on it and you see how it's like bulging out right there? Go clean it up. Mm -hmm. The blow dryer I'm using today is Andis Ionic Blow Dryer. I got this with my cosmetology kit. It's really good, but it's extremely loud. So here we go. Um, precise when you're measuring it because you don't want some tracks to come all the way off and look tacky and stuff like that and plus if you're trying to have the invisible hairline kind of look you have to make sure the tracks are aligned with each other because it's like if you're doing the invisible part you have to lay it on top of each other like that because you don't want to have gaps it will look tacky and if the wind blowing your hair back you don't want it to look tacky so like that. I'm going to finish applying my tracks around and then get back to you when I start doing the visible part. So I'm back and now I'm at the part where I complete my invisible part. And right about here is where my closure is going to go. So I'm going to keep that free. So I don't split my tracks because the, the track is already thin. If you have like expensive weave where the tracks are like thick, you can split the tracks, but you can't split your track. You can't split these kind of tracks. It's too thin. Okay. Um. 
about to measure. And measure it good, please. You don't want the truck to be hanging over inside of your part. And then you don't want too big of a part to look like you got a big ball spot or something. That happened to me once before and I had to pick my hair out the same day. So I got my pre-cut strap, well, my cut strap, whatever, um, apply the glue, and do, um, like a little bit of glue, because when you smush it down, the glue is going to spread out, so just like, uh, a little bit, I did too much, see, so you don't want to do a lot like that, that's way too much glue. I'm going to take some tissue and pat it down. And remember like how I said, slant it a little bit. You see I didn't measure that one right. It's not connecting. Just a little bit of this. to explain it that way. I'm an idiot. Uh. Yes, yeah, like this. Explain it like this. I'm such an idiot right now. That's why <laughs> I didn't have the space, that, the length that I needed. I might want to apply more glue since I just pulled it off and I don't want my track to be slipping out. So just put a little bit more glue. Alright, I'm going to measure from about here to here, cut some hair, and then get back to you.